Let's all share the good news with the Holy Family Daily Gospel Reflection Podcast with your host, Yvette Celeste. And I'm Haley. Hello and welcome. Welcome to the Holy Family Daily Gospel Reflection. My name is Yvette Celeste. And I'm Haley. And this is Haley, and she and I are going to share the gospel with you and your family. And why don't we get started with prayer? In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Glory to you, O Lord, in the highest. Glory to you, O Lord. We give you thanksgiving and praise, for you are Lord. And Lord, we lift our hearts to you in great love and in holy adoration of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Lord, as we lift our hearts into your sacred heart. We ask to lift our minds and hearts in the Holy Spirit, eternal Father, in the sanctifying grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and in your mercy that endures forever that we praise, in your goodness which is everlasting that we rejoice in, that we give thanks for. We give thanks to you, O Hosanna in the highest. And all glory to God in the highest, all glory and praise goes to God in the highest. As we invite the Lord into our hearts, we give thanks to the Lord for he is risen. Christ is risen. That's what we celebrate in Easter tide. The Christ is risen and Christ will come again. And as you are risen, O Lord, as we celebrated the ascension of the Lord and as we are celebrating Pentecost, we are rejoicing. Rejoicing with every apostle in heaven. We are rejoicing with Mother Mary and with Saint Joseph. We are rejoicing with every angel and archangel that Christ is Lord, that Jesus is Lord. And as we lift our hearts to you in great rejoicing, we give thanks to you in your hearing. O oh, Hosanna in the highest. Come, Holy Spirit, come and renew the face of the earth. Fill the hearts of the faithful and kindle our hearts in the fire of your love. Send forth thy Holy Spirit and they shall be created and thou shalt renew the face of the earth. Lord, as we lift our hearts to you, we sing praise to the mighty presence of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And Haley, would you like to place anything into the sacred heart of the Lord today? You. Oh, thank you. I place you in the sacred heart of the Lord as well. And everyone listening, is there anyone else? My mom, my dad, astronauts, children, and everyone in the world. Very good. Okay. All right. We place all families into the sacred heart of the Lord and our own families as well. As we lift our own families into the sacred heart of the Lord, Lord, we pray over every family member. We pray over everyone listening. We pray over everyone in the world because all belong to you. And as we lift our own very special intentions into your sacred heart, O Lord, we ask for healing wherever healing is needed. We ask for your holy mercy wherever mercy is needed. We live Lift Ukraine and Russia into the sacred heart of the Lord and continued prayers for Uvalde, the families in Uvalde, Texas, as they too are healing. And we lift Ukraine, all of Ukraine, into the sacred heart of the Lord. We ask, O Lord, for conversion of heart for Russia. And we ask, O Lord, for your mighty, holy, holy divine intervention in Roe versus Wade, in overturning Roe versus Wade. For you are with us, you never left us, and you have ordained every moment for us as family as we lift our hearts in great love, in great praise, knowing that you are Lord, that you know what we need before we even ask. We give thanks to you in your holy love. And we ask for your holy love to pour through every heart and every mind. We ask for your mighty Holy Spirit to lift us, to shift us, to shape us, shape our hearts, and ignite our hearts ablaze in your holy fire. And as we lift our hearts to you, O Lord, we give you 
thanksgiving and praise in your hearing. O Hosanna in the highest. And as we do lift our hearts to you, we sing praise to you. For as we invite you in our hearts, this is a spiritual communion and until such time we can receive you in sacramental communion. And we praise your glorious call for all are called to receive the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ that can only be found in the Lord's Mass, during the Lord's Mass, in every Catholic parish, in every Catholic Mass. And daily, in fact, the Lord is with us and he has given us his own body he has laid down his life for us all he has given us a precursor to our eternal wedding banquet and that is his body the actual body and blood of our lord is for everyone and jesus calls us all to receive him of his body and blood that is the eucharistic celebration Jesus, we trust in you. And by the way, this is a very holy invitation as well to come to Mass. By the way, come to Mass. If you haven't been to Mass in a while, you're welcome. And call your local Catholic parish if you haven't received the actual body and blood of our Lord that provides life for our bodies as it is written in chapter 6 of the Gospel of John. Amen, amen, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you do not have life within you. Jesus, we ask for you, O Lord, to guide our hearts to baptism, to register for the sacramental prep classes, to receive you, to receive your body and your blood, to receive you in confirmation in baptism and your divine mercy in reconciliation to receive the actual body and blood of our Lord. Lord, we ask for your strength and we ask for your Holy Spirit to speak to every heart, to turn to you fully in metanoia, to turn to you fully in repentance, to turn to you fully in every area of the world where There is persecution of the church. We ask for your mercy, Lord, your graces, Lord, and your holy, infinite merits of the sacred heart of our Lord Jesus Christ and the immaculate heart of Mary and the fire of the Holy Spirit to guide every heart to say yes to the Lord. That is what the Lord asks us all to do in the Gospels, is to follow him. Yes, Lord, your servant is listening. Here I am, Lord. Master, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. Are the words spoken by St. Peter. Also in the Gospel of John, chapter 6, we sing praise to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, for Jesus is with us. And he loves us and has never left us. So let's invite all that we know to come to Mass. Just invite. It is the Lord who is inviting all to himself. And we, as his apostles, we as his disciples, we get to invite. We get to share the living word of the Lord. We get to rejoice with all of heaven for all are loved. All are called by the Lord himself. And let's ask the Blessed Mother for her holy intercession. We ask for the holy intercession of the Blessed Mother, St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, over every family in the world. The Holy Family We thank you for your prayers, and we ask for the prayers of the saints, St. Peter and all of the apostles, the saints, the martyrs, the holy men and women. We thank you for your prayers over us all. We thank you, dear angels and archangels, led by St. Michael, the archangel, all nine choirs. Pray for us, and we ask for your holy angel embrace to be with us all. Embrace us all in heavenly peace. Embrace us all in your holy intercession. Embrace us all 
and everyone in the world. And we give thanks to God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, because it's the Lord who sends them. It is the Lord who sends his angels and who has sent his Son. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. Lord, we praise you, and we always will. Today's gospel comes to us from the Gospel of John. We are reading from Gospel of John, chapter 16, verses 29 through 33. The disciples said to Jesus, Now you are talking plainly and not in any figure of speech. Now we realize that you know everything and that you do not need to have any quest- anyone question you. Because of this, we believe that you came from God. Jesus answered them, Do you believe now? Behold, the hour is coming and has arrived, when each of you will be scattered to his own home, and you will leave me alone. But I am not alone, because the Father is with me. I have told you this so that you might have peace in me. In the world you will have trouble, but take courage, I have conquered the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Haley, thank you for reading that for us. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay. So as we get started with today's reading, we turn the word into prayer. And this is a little like Lexio Divina. As we turn the word into prayer and praise, we give thanks to the Lord for his living word. Glory to you, O God in the highest. Glory to you, O Lord. We sing praise to you and we always will. As we lift our hearts to you in great love, in great humility, in great faith, in great adoration of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, we sing praise to you as one voice with every name in heaven. And all names in heaven, praise your holy name. As we lift our hearts to you, Lord, we ask for the Holy Spirit to enlighten our hearts and minds in your living word and ignite our hearts ablaze in your holy fire, now and always, for that of ourselves, for that of our families, and that of everyone in the world, to glorify your name, Almighty Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Lord, we praise you, and we always will. Lord, we thank you for strengthening all disciples. We thank you for strengthening all that you are calling. Strengthen us all in any area of doubt, in any area of spiritual weakness, in any area of despair. And even, Lord, we thank you for your comforter in any area of distress that may be in the world. We thank you for turning every heart to you, including those who may not understand yet how incredible it is to receive you fully in your body and your blood. And we praise your body and blood, O oh Lord, your most holy, precious, sacred body and blood. Eternal Father, we offer you the body and most precious body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, present in all the tabernacles around the world in reparation for the outrages, sacrileges, and indifferences by which he is so greatly offended through the infinite merits of the sacred heart of our Lord Jesus Christ and the immaculate heart of Mary. We beg the conversion of sinners. And Lord, we thank you in your hearing. O oh, Hosanna in the highest. And as I ask the Holy Spirit, as we can all ask the Holy Spirit to help us in every word, in every conversation, in every area of our lives, to glorify the name of the Lord, we ask for you, O oh, mighty presence of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit to guide our hearts and shift our thinking. Shift our minds, shift our hearts to glorify the name of the Lord. Open our eyes, O Holy Spirit. Open our ears and open our mouths in great praise and adoration of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit to glorify the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Jesus has been speaking to his disciples, and as Jesus had spoken parables up until this point, he had, Jesus had just announced that he was going to speak 
plainly as he has told his disciples in figures of speech the hour is coming where i will no longer speak to you in figures but i will tell you clearly about the father on that day you will ask in my name and i do not tell you that i will ask the father for you for the father himself loves you because you have loved me and have come to believe i came from god i came from the father and have come into the world and now i'm leaving the world and going back to the father this is where our gospel takes place as jesus has just revealed he is from the father he is one in god the father and through the holy spirit it is being revealed the holy trinity jesus is announcing his bitter passion to the disciples and the disciples who are hearing him speak clearly, who are hearing Jesus speak clearly, understands a little. They are thinking that they are in complete understanding and in actuality they have a partial understanding. And a partial understanding has been revealed that God is has come. God so loved the world that he gave us his son, that this is truly the Messiah, that he will lay down his life in his bitter passion. And this is what's being revealed to them. And in the footnotes of the Bible, and he will be raised again, which is really important to note. Christ is risen. So as they are saying, his disciples said, now you're talking plainly and not in any figure of speech. This also means in any parable. Now we realize that you know everything and that you do not need to have anyone question you. Because of this, we believe that you have come from God. And the reference of this verse in the footnotes, it says the reference is seemingly to the fact that Jesus could anticipate their question. In verse 19, which says, Jesus knew that they wanted to ask him, so he said to them, Are you discussing with one another what I said? A little while and you will not see me, and again in a little while you will see me. The dis- it says in the footnotes that the disciples naively think that they have the full understanding that is the climax of the hour of Jesus' death, resurrection, and ascension. But the only part of the hour that is at hand for them is their share in the passion. And that is referenced in verse 32, where Jesus says, Do you believe now? Behold, the hour has coming and has arrived. Well, each of you will be scattered to his own home and you will leave me alone. But I am not alone because the Father is with me. And where it says you will be scattered in verse 32, verse 32 that reveals you will be scattered is actually also noted in the Gospel of Mark. There's a cross reference from the Gospel of Mark and the Gospel of Matthew. Both Mark and Matthew are quoting Zechariah 13. And what is that? So let's go ahead and read that in Mark chapter 14. It says, Then Jesus said, All of you will have your faith shaken, for it is written, I will strike the shepherd and the sheep will be dispersed. And that is from Zach, that was from the Gospel of Mark and will cross reference to the Gospel of Matthew as well, which also says in Matthew 26 verse 31, Then Jesus said to them, This night all of you will have your faith in me shaken. This night all of you will have your faith in me shaken, for it is written, I will strike the shepherd and the sheep of the flock will be dispersed. And that comes directly from Zechariah 13 verse 7. This is the fulfillment of the prophecy of Zechariah, which says, Awake, O sword, against my shepherd, against the one who is my associate, oracle of the Lord of hosts. Strike the shepherd that the sheep may be scattered. And this is the fulfillment of the text before Jesus is arrested in the Garden of Gethsemane in the flight of the disciples. This is the fulfillment of Zechariah's prophecy as Jesus is letting them know that there will be trouble in the world, but he has overcome the world. And that's a message that is very important for us all, that Jesus has overcome the world, that Jesus is above the world, is Lord of all, is Lord of hosts, is Lord of all of us. And how can we act on the very living word of the Lord? 
but to follow the Lord, just like the disciples. And as we are following the Lord, trust in Him every moment and every step of the way. As we lift our hearts to the Lord in great love and in great praise, we give our hearts, our whole bodies, our whole lives to the Lord. We place our whole entire families into the sacred heart of the Lord. And as we do, we ask for the Holy Spirit to guide every heart, to shift every area of our heart to greater love. O mighty Holy Presence, glory to you, O Holy Spirit. We ask to guide our hearts to love more than we've ever loved before, to ignite our hearts ablaze in complete holy metanoia and adoration of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, and to act on the very living word of the Lord. For this is what shapes our hearts. It is what shapes our lives. The living word of God is written in our hearts and is what shapes our own families. Our own families and everyone in the world is shaped by the living word of the Lord. And as we open and share the gospel messages with everyone we meet and our own family members, we are saying yes to the Lord. As we say yes to the Lord, we act upon the very word of the Lord. And as we share the living word of the Lord, the Lord is the one who is watering his seed. He is providing light for his seed. And he is the one that makes our hearts fertile soil to hear his living word. And he is with us. God himself is with us. The heavenly father is with us. The Lord himself the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit will never leave us. And thank the Lord, the divine Father, Son, Holy Spirit, most high divine Father, Son, Holy Spirit is with us now and goes before us as we share his living word, goes before us and ignites all hearts in hearing that Jesus came for all of us that he will come again, and this time in his glory. As we the disciples, as we the apostles say yes to the living word of the Lord, we act with great love. We act with great rejoicing, and we act with great humility on the very living word of the Lord that provides life for us all, that nourishes us, strengthens us in its hearing. And Jesus, who gave us his own living word, for he is the incarnate word, asks us to trust in him in every word he spoke. Let's seek understanding for what we do not understand. Let's seek the Lord while we can. Let's seek the Lord and ask for his mercy for every area of the world, for those who may not understand how incredible it is to adore the Lord, to receive the Lord, and to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And let's pray for those. Let's use the rosary for all in the world. The rosary is a spiritual sword over us all. Let's pray for all in the world to say yes to the Lord, just like Mother Mary and Saint Joseph and every saint, all holy men and women and every martyr, every angel led by Saint Michael, the archangel, have said yes to the Lord. And it is through this yes that they rejoice with us now. And why don't we go ahead and rejoice with every name in heaven. On the count of three, we can say glory to God in the highest. Just like in the gospel of Luke, the heavenly host who sang glory to God in the highest over the manger. On the count of three, you ready, Haley, and everyone out there? One, two, three. Glory to God in the highest. Woo! And peace to his people on earth. Amen and hallelujah. In Jesus' name, amen. May the Lord bless us and keep us. May his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. May he look kindly upon us and grant us all his peace. 
Lord, grant us all your rest. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Haley, would you like to share any Bible verses or words of wisdom? God loves you. Amen. God loves you. He never left you. And he is with us all. He loves us so very much that he gave us his only begotten son. For God so loved the world that he gave us his son, his only begotten son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish but might have eternal life. Lord, we lift our hearts to you. We sing praise to you and praise to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Bye, families. May God bless you. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, 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 b